Hey guys, McSun here with more of Mobile Suit Gundam The Witch from Mercury. This is episode 17 or season 2, episode 5. And okay, yeah, so last episode. We got a lot just from the other characters. Uh I, I guess. Yeah, again, pretty much, uh, even though we had Suleta and the Ariel, obviously, especially what, especially what the Ariel did with to uh, Elon 5, deserving. But they were still kind of in the back seat for the most part. Just, I like that actually here as we develop other characters here. There's a lot of people, so we got to touch on, touch on them and just how they are dealing with all their stuff. A couple of things stuck out to me now, especially that, that I had time to think about it. One of the things was, of course, how Prospera and even Elon Five, yeah, they, they call it the hypocrisy of that. Forgot her name, but yeah, her complaining. You turn her into a, you, you turn your daughter into a into a mobile suit stuff like that, dude, bitch. You turned kids. You willingly work with pale technology to like turn kids into machines, essentially cyber new types. Like you because what, what they're the only one to take your research, uh, so yeah, shut up. And then if, and another thing was Nika and how she kept on saying what they're doing, what Shadik and everyone's doing is wrong. It should be done. That's not how. That's not how you're gonna bring a uh, bridge like uh, Earthy and the Spaceium together or stuff like that. We need to be a bridge. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Um. Yes, she's right that what they're doing is wrong. There's no arguing that. What's the alternative? It's like... What do you got? What other alternative can you present? It's like, that's her problem here. She keeps... She, she's being on her high horse. Being trying to be, like, the morally sound one, but... You got nothing besides it's wrong in a moral sense. Okay, it doesn't matter. It, you could be right in that regard, but if that's all you got is the fact that you point out it's wrong, no one's gonna listen to you. You, you don't have you, to present a second option that fits more to your, per, to your way of thinking here that can work, that has potential. She's got nothing. All she's got is just, she's, she's, she's got nothing. She's, she's just blowing up hot air, but that's it. It's like, you can be right, you can be right on a moral standard, but if that's all you have, no one's going to listen to you. That's the thing she just, she, she as a kid doesn't really understand, which weird because she's clearly an Earthian. She's. Apparently grew up in that orphanage. Huh. Guess you had more hope. So yeah, we had also Guel comes back to his parents and his uh, family. His brother sees him, shows he's alive, and we have of course Prospera doing the oh so typical like this is how kind of childish she is, and how blinded by revenge and how. Blames Minori for like also what happened to everyone and her colleagues, even though the fact that she wasn't even alive at the time, she was not born. But yes, the whole the sins of the parents passed down to the father, and in some place that that is a thing here. It's, uh, they don't seem stupidity. Oh well, so yeah, let's just watch what happens here. Oh, we see just how well uh, Prosperous has been gaslighting Suleta. It's like, wow. Open up. All right, so guess, uh, last time I had a miss, I, I forgot to uh, put back on the screen as well. I remind you people because of YouTube. I got no choice but to lower the volume and opaque the screen heavily here. So. That you'll become the next president. Yeah. <clears throat> you have my way with Suleta anymore. Really? 
Yeah, I brought the mosh. But you better promise me that you won't involve Slot any further. Yeah, look, I've, another thing I noticed is a pair, uh, the, the theory of Slot being a clone of Eddie after what happened, like, apparently Eddie's body couldn't take being in space in zero G. And so she essentially, uh, by her biometric data here, her basically personality and everything, she downloaded that into the aerial. And, oh god, yeah, let me guess. She plans to move Eddie back into Suleta. Oh god. So basically, basically, she doesn't see Suleta as nothing more but a way to get her real daughter back. Just assuming, of course, Suleta is a, like a clone of Eddie. Oh, sorry. No, she's lying. And one more duel. No. Don't. You. Uh. Boy, oh boy. Okay, I see the audio. I think it's good. Okay, okay, be careful. Uh, yeah, she's good. She's lying. She's lying. She already showed that she's a liar. I mean, but the fact that she kept saying that Ariel is not a Gundam. It's not a Gundam. And then, like, during the whole conference, whatever it was, the hatching, hatchling, whatever, she just admitted right there, like, nope. Cat's out of the, cat's out of the bag. It's a Gundam. Ariel's a Gundam. Honestly, it's like, Denori is emotional. Like, why, what does being the president have to do with Suleta? Like, you don't have to be the president or the president in order to keep uh, her away from Suleta. Well, okay, might be a little hard, but still. Yeah, to tomatoes and everything. Like this whole quiet zero. <laughs> Precious thing. But yeah, quiet zero sounds like Angel Halo. At least some, some form like that. Or the grimoire from the um, from that manga. You see manga? Mm, you're a terrible liar. You just you're waiting all this time. Why do you have that? Yeah, you Yeah, you pretty much said that you'll do anything your mother tells you. Your mother could tell you to burn down an orphanage and you do it. And if your mom told you, okay, is it some sort of new regulation? They all must carry those packs here. I guess what with ID. I like the sound effect there with the mobile suit passing by. Venerate group front. Can ever, you, you now think you're the successor? A partnership with Pale Technology. Yeah, 
I'll support Gun with a new core bit. Really, Gun. You'll do! I'll transfer Gundam. I. Oh, beast bitches? Secret polish. I'll leave the sale plan so you can enjoy. Guess I just. I'll touch. You're telling me. That is true. Is it participating in the Gundam business the thing you most desire? Yeah, why do. Yeah, why does Pale Technology want this so badly? Well, what are they hoping to get out of it? <laughs> and yeah, Kadara there, Kadara, that's. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Grassley is a big supporter here. Heck, the uh, mobile suit that was used in the prologue that had the, ant the ad antidote system here was a grassy suit. <laughs> Sorry, it won't be back. God, I wish I could move. Now with Elon 5. God, you're disgusting. <laughs> oh, wow, he partays it. Oh, this is another <laughs> irritating. Think of, isn't yeah, doll. Go well. Okay, I did not expect this. Guel is uh, back in school and... Huh? Alright, here to save the day, too. This is a nice surprise here. He's cleaned himself up, made... Fixed his hair. Whew. None other than the runaway prince. And a recruit figure. <laughs> yeah! Girl. Oh! <laughs> you ruined this place. No apology will get you off the hook. I like it. Like, his the experience he went through with Donald Fold made him far colder. More, it, it really grinded him down. He's no longer a kid. Held up my withdrawal, okay. Really? Uh, really? What's your purpose? Well, it's a start. And he's got a challenge ahead of him, too, considering um, the company is about to go bankrupt. You?
Yeah, you do. I was surprised by that, actually. Yeah, it's like, I was still sh got surprised the fact that it wasn't his father who did the whole thing where he became Bob and worked at a truck company. No, he, he ran away. And his father had been looking for him. And but now after everything that's happened, the trauma, he's taken the essentially the, the trauma he's been through and using that to try to push forward. He, he's not uh, running from it or anything like that here. He was shaped by it. He kind of acknowledges it. And he's using that as the motivation to try to keep what he cares what, or Something like that. I like that. She's like, and <laughs> yes, that's the part of you I felt. That was the part of you fell for. <laughs> we got that again. Come down. Hormones. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, where we go. Wow. The animation of this scene right here. I love how they show their anxiety so well like that. What I want for my birthday. Do between you and Gua. Maybe to get the victory, okay. What? Yeah, he heard, he heard you. I'll become your fiance. Tall order. What would happen if Suleta wins? Which the odds are she's gonna win. I don't unless you granted you could just ask her to throw the fight, but <laughs> Well would not like that. Even though he said he's done with dueling, I I was like, you talk with the Haro? <laughs> Record of moving like a dog? Welcome to your line at a dog. Okay! 
another example of how much he's grown. He would have he would have instantly latched on to that little bait right there instead. <laughs> Did that? What is your stake? I don't know about that, but... I don't know about that here. Again, like... Like I was mentioned, the Tark House was... Is losing... It's losing, it's losing a lot here. The company is... Doing very bad here to the point of bankruptcy. And... What? Ariel? God, everyone wants the everyone wants the Ariel. It always goes back to the Ariel. Which of course it does. It's a Gundam. A Gundam with a with. Oh boy, I'm, I'm gonna to use a bit of the their typical old school Gundam drama there. A, with a, a Gundam with a soul in it. <laughs> yeah, basically the biometric data here. It's a, yeah, it's basically like the Phoenix. Indeed. So... What? What do you, what do you say about a mother? Oh yeah, that... Oh, he told him. Don't do that. There are no worlds like that. There are, uh, there's guys being from experience right now. I mean, you may, Minori may have been there in the plant, but this guy was a lot closer. And then some. The way the world, the way everything is, phew. You need to do just get, get Sulita away from, from her mother, at least make, make her realize that her mother does not have the best intentions. It was copied your suspension. We have no money for repairs. Oh. It was rather fired up. Yeah. What's it? What are you? Oh boy. But what about that AI? Okay. It's that the lot. Uh, the dial blade or whatever with with that AI was that thing that it was in a beta test here and it's only been like what a couple a uh, few weeks to maybe a handful of months <laughs> you couldn't find the right timing <laughs> Get your hair! 
Yeah, the, yeah, okay, now I see from this angle, I can see it better here, but wow, he really did cut his hair. Why? Oh, well. You, well, actually, it, that, that hair does make him look far more professional, I guess. Oh boy. This is gonna be. I'm almost rooting for this guy. I'm almost rooting. Is that guy, I feel like I should root for Guel. He's terrified. Oh. Wow, okay, yeah, that, the first time he, after that ordeal, he was in a tense situation, adrenaline, he threw up, but he still got in at, because try, because he had a perfect try to save life, it failed, but now it's like, ooh, yeah, this guy's got PTSD. Which is typical, what, what do you expect, it's Gundam, they're gonna have PTSD all the time, and no one's gonna, and no one's gonna treat it. Uh, Brian House. Have we seen a mobile suit from Brian House at some point? I mean, we've seen several. I mean, the. Eh. I think that might maybe, maybe the dead, the Delling. Oh yeah. No. No, he's changed a bit. The only now he does have a small of an edge here because the um because the Ariel is not in full, but he still got the gun bits. Dario blade. The Ariel blade couldn't get repaired because they don't have any money. You're here, so you're here too. I'm not being cahoots, I thought. I was right on the money. Whoa! No, thank you. Die already. I like to live a long life. Or die in a gun or in my blood. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, I die. Like, Nika's response right there. Dying? In a Gundam? I guess she's not aware of the whole thing about the issue with Gundams or anything like that with the gun format system. Yeah, it's like it's down one thruster. Alright, go out until you do this. You've learned a lot, you've grown a lot! Not bad! Nice! You sacrifice the shield? Oh, uh, a katan! Yeah! Yeah, for them! Are you running now? Delling's daughter. Sorry. 
Geldi. Okay. Wow, all right. Hell's gone, bitch. <laughs> Well, oh, it's hard for this guy. Whoa, here, whoa, here we go. What's happening? Yeah. All right, if I activate the, the, the AI system. Yeah, you need all the help you can get, kid. But you're in the current state. Oh, I forgot about that trick! What a nice application of it! Alright, new hand! Oh my god! <laughs> what was that move? This... This is no longer a, do a, a simple game here. You feel what it's like to fight a war. Oh, permit score six! If not higher! What? Did you go freaking do that? Uh, okay, but this is higher. Like, permit score what? Eight? No. Huh? You're linked. Say it, but happy birthday to you! Oh God, no, Guel, don't do this. Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Oh God! What the? Yeah. Well, you must, you, you, you saw something was wrong there. She had you that to write. And now, oh boy, this house. Oh, how fast? Yeah. Oh, great. Now you're being cold? Super... Super... Really? A Mercurian country bumpkin. Wow, really trying hard there. I was pretty much rooting for Guel here, but and left a bad taste in my mouth.
And it was meant to, obviously. I mean, there, there's no question. I'm supposed to feel sick after this, but... Wow. Goel really put up a good fight here. Even going through the trauma he's been through here. Much like that trauma is what's causing him to try to move forward. It's also what was causing him to stutter, to choke. Yeah, it's a much sword, after all. But the fact that it's also a lot of the fight as well as he did for this long, even when he was at a clear disadvantage, it really shows how much, he, how much he's changed here. Like, he now understands what war is. It, that's always been a thing in like, in this, when they um, announced the show here. Like, while the students here, they have an understanding of war at an academic level, they don't understand it in its true sense, like the uh, true pain and horror of war. Guell, he does, he understands it now. And so, he, and so it affects his fighting. Our empty cells. Oh, that's a that, that's an incredible title card. Okay, that's uh Let me just put a little pick here. Yeah, that that that's wow. I I wanted the poster. I wanted that as, as a framed in a pose, framed in framed picture and everything, cause damn. The return of the Dara Blade. It's a nice surprise. Obviously, they kind of they couldn't get into any improvements. They did any uh, any improvements, especially with the AI. It still had it in there, and it worked well here. I'm amazed that okay, so Suleta could use the gun, the gun format like what permit score? I mean, how hard did she go here? Because that was not just permit score six. It went from blue then to white. What did she go permit score ten or higher? And we see this here. So clearly, uh, she still her helmet allows her to stay hooked up. Even even so, yeah, probably hooked up to the aerial here. Like to the permit permit like a bit of quantum uh, link there. And we had that happy birthday song playing. So we thought, oh god, we're gonna die, but no, nope, fake out. <laughs> that clever. Well, then fake out. It was. It was Ariel that pretty much was shut down there. And it's like, and Ariel even said, "I'm sorry." But yeah, also interesting as well how Suleta using her ability could take control. She basically did a psychum jack. It's like she did. She did like with the she, so. The gun format system basically does uh, is it also terms of the NTD system, huh? <laughs> Taking control of these of these uh bits here, which what they actually overriding them. It's like I would need to know more of the science here, cause look, not, it's not like, nothing new here. Cyber warfare, everything, especially when you have like technically two pilots in one suit here. I'm not so not surprised, but I want to know more exactly, like how this works, pro and how the permit plays a factor. But yeah, like I really, it was Guel was impressive. Like this, just this scene where he activates the AI, and and then this scene right here, like wow. I can't help but applaud that scene. Brutal and it's pretty. That gun was—it's almost daredevil, but it's something. He was—it was like a fight or a fight or flight instinct that tipped over, and he made it work. He made it work here because he went in thinking like I could die, I could die. Even though yeah, he's not gonna die. He was not gonna die in this in this uh, duel. Although with a happy birthday song playing. It's only a matter of time, I guess. Yeah, like he, uh, yeah, Guel was clearly the star of the show here. The start was the start of the episode here. Like he powered through everything here. Everyone already had these uh think these uh 
thoughts in their heads here how and like yeah his haircut to really show how much he's grown and yeah he powered through the trauma and decided to throw up here he's and already so hot-blooded like doesn't know no he's no longer hot but this has nothing to do with him being hot blood or anything like that he i'll have to edit that out here but who's this girl have we seen her before or is she, is she gonna be in the manga but yeah, like I don't want to see any more fighting. Yeah, uh, a consequence of the open, of the little open little festival they had here and seeing the destruction, pure destruction, like war, conflict came to their school. And so people don't, so a lot of people are like, I don't want to see fighting anymore, even if they're like safe duels. No, thank you. And we got Nika here. It looks like, yeah. He's hiding out because he's already pretty much figured out the obvious. He, and he's hiding with these, with these, and he kind of figured, yeah, they'd be with Grassley and everything. So hide out, stay hidden, because Pale want him dead, and we know how what happens with them. Oh, getting dark here. So yeah, we, we had a lot here. We so much. Oh God. Everyone wants the Ariel. We have, of course, uh, and now uh, what I really hate is what, okay, I see what obviously uh, Minori is doing. It's, she's being like this in order to protect Suleta. This is exactly what Prospera wants. So whatever she wants is gonna be bad for Suleta in the long run. You you should have you should have like said no or something like that. But, oh God! But she of course she's a, she's a teenager. What do you expect here? She's letting her emotions cloud her judgment, let make her unable to see the obvious. <sighs> and of course we got a, and I won't I won't show it, but yeah, we saw that Shadik there. He now has a deal going with Pale Technologies. They're trying to gain presidency of the Benedict Benner group here. And if he does, he'll give Pale all the gunding stuff here, including the Ariel. Hmm. Like as well, we saw the Ariel, like it still hadn't recovered, that hadn't been repaired here after the events of a uh, terrorist attack at school. Because yeah, all of Earth houses and gun, gun ink, gun armor ink's asset was uh, frozen. They, they were in suspension while they were under investigation, so they couldn't, they couldn't repair it. I mean, they confiscated the aerial, that's about it. And, uh, any, one, did they get the Demi Trainer back? Oh boy, but yeah, and now this, next episode we gotta see Suleta here, cause she's not gonna be in a good position mentally right now here. She lost a battle. And she made a promise that she'd always win because of what her mother wants and everything. And after Minori, like, betrayal. Poor girl. She's, she's not going to be psychologically sound here. And I would say she'll need a therapist, but this is Gundam. People, uh, tell me in the comment section. When was the last time, whether in the shows, in the OVAs, in the manga, in the light novels, you ever heard mention of a licensed therapist, psychologist, whatever, being in any of the Gundam universes? <sighs> Meanwhile, I just, I'm, of course, I'm, I'm curious about Guel, Guel here. I mean, he clearly sees that something, some bullshit happened. But he can't speak out of it yet here because what will be the point? So tell me what you all thought about this episode in the comments down below. Like and subscribe for more videos. Till next one, this is Mexon, logging out.